Hey, what is going on, guys? Pro Ninja Two Six One Two here, and I'm back with another uh, train simulator commentary. And today we're going to be looking at the Class Forty Three First Great Western Main Line. Now this is Train Simulator Twenty Fourteen. I'm not sure if I've got everything turned up because I can't because I've never really checked to be honest. But yeah, um, so this is the First Great Western Main Line Class Forty Three. It's the Forty Three Double O Five. Um. And one of the things that it's, I quite like about this is it's got so much detail involved in it, like the smoke, well yeah, you could kind of say it's basic, but it's when it goes into bigger detail, as you can see from the side, it's almost like the train's dented like you see in real life, um, and then again there's the rust, ooh, there's the rust of the couplings, um, what else have we got, if I go back into number one, and then go to, ooh, that's quite cool, whoa. Uh, we'll just let it come back through here, and I'll kind of give you a uh, kind of look at what it's like. Uh, Train Simulator isn't the most detailed game, if I'm brutally honest, but again, like yeah, again, a lot of these simulators never really are. But it's just one of the things you got to kind of. And here we go. You can see it pulling through, and now we have broke the 90 mile speed limit. So here we go. Okay, so back in the train, and if we go to number five, as you can see, again, there's more detail in the uh, actual cat coaches itself. Um, as you can see, there's there's people. They're not very detailed, but yeah, there's people. Uh, the doors open. There's the lighting panels and stuff. It's uh, first class. The plugs and stuff, and the laptops and mobile phones. The table. Just a lot of these things really does look nice and detailed. And uh, the first class, well, not the first class, it's the first coffee cup. What's she looking at? Why is he staring at Nibis? But yeah, so the detail is good to some extent, but again, I think that maybe they could have made it better. Uh, as you can see in here, uh, the cab does offer quite a lot of detail. One of the things I like is all the like posters and stuff, like all the official posters and just all the different detail like the light looks quite nice and detailed and um, the sticker here looks all like creased and stuff and that looks like it's fading and that just looks like it's unpixelated <laughs> well pixelated and yeah so the train is nice uh, it does have its down flaws but it is a nice train uh, the only problem the only problem is that it's maybe a the game I'm not saying this is just about the train, but the game is a lacking detail somewhat. And I know it is like it probably isn't the best, easiest game to make detail for and stuff, but like just as you're looking from there, that doesn't even look like they've tried to be honest. Um oh, there's a cool little uh, shot. Um uh, yeah, and then the drivers are the same at both sides. I mean, look, we've got him here. Let's go three. Boom. Exactly the same. So, yeah, the detail is one of the things that lacks about this game, but we're not speaking about the detail. We're speaking about the Class 43 review and some of the other features of the Class 43 in this game and in real life. So, the first class, there's another pack that this is in and the other pack that it's in is the uh what's it called what's it called what's it called is the first no it's the east coast main line but the only thing is it's not east coast main line the whole way it just goes to peterborough which is quite annoying because i would have kind of liked it if they did like a really long route which would be quite cool like a big seven hour route yeah, it would be good, but then some people might get bored, but it would be one of those things that would be quite cool that you could do it in stages. Um, but yeah, so, because uh, the main East Coast main line goes from Aberdeen to London, or London to Aberdeen, and there is an addition onto that route, is the Highland Chieftain route, which starts off at Inverness and goes through Aviemore and not just through the Highlands and stuff, and it's really only one of the big HSTs that go through, um, and then I believe it connects on the Perth line and then just goes from there. Um, so yeah, that was just a little bit of detail. And Class 43s are pretty operational in 
today's modern society uh, quite a lot. Um, but a lot of the the other one that rides along the east coast is the Class 90 or 96, I can't really quite remember, but yeah. So, um, I realised that this video might not be for my usual subscribers, but kind of like for the other people, or maybe anyone else who fancies watching it. Yeah, well, there you go. Um, another key little feature about detail is... As you can see here, the dirt on the train, which I think I mentioned, like the denting and stuff. But it's sort of like the dirt on the train, and there's quite a bit of dirt on the front as well. Uh, so the shows they really have tried to bring some like detail where they can, and it kind of does show. So now I'm gonna quickly go to number two, and and we are over speeding quite badly. Okay, so we've lost speed quite badly. Uh, okay, so we've got another station coming up in a minute. Uh, well, where is it? The center of the train. Okay, uh, so forget about that. Okay, so... Ah, I can't get this right for some reason. Okay, so I kind of have tried to give them as much of a review of this as I can. Uh, this is in the... Uh, first Great Western Mainline Pack, um, which as it is is quite good. Um, it does feature quite a few other trains as well. Uh, the Class One Five One Six Five being one of them. Um, yeah, uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, and you get the First Great Western Mainline. I think it's cost about twelve pounds or something. And yeah, I would probably say it's worth it. I would recommend if you want to buy it, buy it. And I'm kind of hoping we can make this in time for a cool little shot of the train passing it by. And we've completely... As you see the train sweeping through the station. And we're now just about to arrive to Appleford. So uh, probably be a good idea to stop the train. If you can hear the phone in the background, I'm sorry about that. So yeah, so this is basically a follow on to the review I did last year on Train Simulator 2013 of the Class 325 Royal Mail Train. Um, I wanted to just make another one just because, well, it did get quite incredible views actually. I think we've got 200 views on it, which is quite good. Uh, so yeah, I decided like I would kind of want to make another one just to, I don't know, just because they get views and stuff. And but also because I kind of find trains up quite interesting. Like, it might not all be your cup of tea, but for me, I kind of do. So as you can see, we're coming in far too fast. Um, I'm gonna put a bit of sander. Okay, so we didn't quite make it in. Ah, but I've got an excuse. It's a big train. Uh, There we go, and that's the doors open. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at ProNinja2612. Peace.